Hey everybody, Grim here. We're back on Feed the Beast for another episode, and this episode's actually going to be a channel update. Um, there's some stuff going on. Uh, it's been over a week since my last video, and on average it's been about a week for every video. However, do I have any left? No, I gotta make more. Uh, I was looking for uh, quad uranium. I wasn't sure if I had any more left or not. Uh, both reactors are out. I gotta reset that. But uh, all of my posts, any future videos from here, probably over the course of a month or more, maybe two months. I don't really have a definite time frame. Uh, will most likely be very sporadic. And then whatever I cover in the videos, you know, may not may not be big ticket items or anything of that nature, but. Um, the reason for that is, uh, originally, well, let me start from the beginning. Uh, one, two, a couple weeks, maybe three weeks ago now, I uh, found out that my dad has cancer, and it started in his lung, and he's been a smoker ever since he was 15. He's 72 now, but it didn't originate from smoking, and actually, to speak of that, as far as smoking goes, his lungs, oh hey, his lungs still actually look like that of a non-smoker's. I don't know why, it's weird, but it's a good thing. So, that that's not what caused it. Uh, throughout his life, my dad worked in body shops, uh, working on cars, uh, doing a lot of body work and paint. And this was during the 60s and 70s and some of the 80s or so. And they had lacquered paints and everything else, and it was very harsh chemicals. So over time, the combination of all those chemicals caused cancer to develop in his lung. Uh, so that was that was uh, about three weeks ago that I found out he has cancer. So he went in for some more scans. I reset my farm here, and I redid some of this, by the way. I'll show you. Uh, you know, I now have a chest. Everything goes into a chest, transposer, barrels. And they're extended barrels. So this is running practically all the time. I put biogas here, ran it with biomass. So there we be. This will be running for pff, indefinite, forever. But uh, see, so yeah, I found out he has cancer, and then the week after that, well, actually at the end of that week, he went in for some more scans. By the way, I'm going to show you what I've been working on while I update you on everything and then if there's still time left I'll go through and show you what I'm actually doing in this episode I'm just gonna do it and give you my update while I'm doing whatever I'm doing but uh, you know I've been working on the bees throughout the week so that's what I'm about to go up and do I've been working on mutations trying to get certain strains of bees uh, some times it's gone well other times it hasn't so that's where we're at with this but so the week he found, we found out he had cancer, um, he went in for some more scans, and when he had those scans, they found out how extensive the cancer is. And they also found out for sure that it did attach to a spinal cord. Uh, that's pure. That's not mutations. But originally, they found he had cancer in his lung and they found that it was had attached to his hip bone he was starting to have trouble walking and you know that's not normal for my dad my dad even though he's 72 still got around like he was like 30 you know and he get up every day go down to the garage and work all day long uh, he makes custom exhaust systems for the old classic and muscle cars here in the US uh, like the 70 chargers and challengers uh, cornets a b c E bodies, B. Uh, Mopar is a big ticket money maker for us, but uh, where was I going with that? You know, he'd go down in the garage work all day, every day. So it's not it's not normal for my dad not to be able to walk around. So I found out it did attach to his hip bone, and that's what was giving him problems with walking around. Meadows marbled, common marbled forest marbled. I don't like how everything has got marbled on it. I mean, I used marbled. Hang on, that's 
common marbled marbled forest. Maybe that'll come out good. Um, so he had more scans attached to his hip bone. Uh, it was also in a lymph node in his chest. And aside from that, they thought it had attached to the vertebrae on his lower back and at the base of his skull on his neck his vertebrae they weren't sure though so then last week but they also during those scans found out it's also in his liver and in his brain so Monday of last week he went in for a full brain MRI and it did not come back with good news they were trying to find out how extensive it is in the brain well, they found out that in the brain, it is at stage four. There is nothing they can do for it. So, and it's been a combination of new pain meds every few days, because pain keeps getting worse for them. And right now, today is Tuesday, the 21st. Yes, and I might actually have this video up today. I got faster internet, by the way. So, I can record videos and get them up the same day sometimes depending on the length of the video but as of today um, he can no longer walk he is now on pure morphine um, things just ain't, ain't looking good he's not fully coherent things do not look good at all um, when they found that it was stage, actually last week is when they found out it was stage four in the brain. Um, you know, they said a month, maybe two months is all he has left. So, you know, we, we took that. It, it's not it, it. Did I just not put much in there? Uh, we we kind of I, I don't know we didn't really believe it but it, it's deteriorating pretty fast so you know it, it is a month to two months and now um, in the past couple days uh, you know he's on pure morphine but he can't barely hold a glass of water I mean a small small glass like four ounces um, he's starting to shake He's sleeping all day. He's only been awake for about a half hour each day. Um, and I think some of that could be from the uh, pure morphine, for sure. I, I think some of that is. But his speech is slurred. He's talking to people who aren't there. Uh, talking to an pet animals that we used to have that have been dead for a while. Uh, so things are getting pretty bad, and... If you live in the States, you know generally what hospice is. If you don't live in the States, um, hospice is a service offered. They're really good medical care, but also a large part of what they do is considered uh, final acts, kind of. Um, a large part of what they do, aside from regular medical service also, is when people are nearing the end, they come in and they do everything to make them comfortable. Uh, pain meds order in hospital beds, order in wheelchairs, anything they can do to make them feel comfortable before they go. That's not all hospice does. That's just a large part of what they do. But, uh, where was I going with hospice? Hospice has been brought in, and he's in a, wheel he's in a, in a hospital bed now, and, um, so yeah, that's what's been happening. And so, I, I, things are getting pretty bad. I was out there yesterday, and things aren't going to be getting any better anytime soon. Uh, they're taking a fast turn for the worst. So, just to keep you apprised um, of my situation, if you don't see a video for a couple weeks, that would be why. It, if you don't see a video for a couple weeks, then probably the worst has happened. I'm busy dealing with things of that nature. 
So that's where uh, that's where that stands. Okay. So now that I've got that out of the way, I need a chest. So as you you can clearly see, I've been working on my bees. Yeah, give me a diamond. I guess we'll do that. But uh, and I've been working on these extensively. Actually, there was a day last week I didn't go to work. Uh, when we first found out how bad things are, I didn't go to work. The next day, uh, I was just still processing everything. If okay, I'll explain that later. But uh, not you. Damn, Greg. Black is any bees. Green is anything. There we go. And where are they? Are they here? Yes, they are. Imperials. And we'll set this up. Get the princess. Get the drones. Get the frames. And what this is, this is making this apiary fully automated for like ever until the chest fills up. What happens here, when the queen dies, she produces children and a princess and combs and royal jelly and the redstone signal off sending energy bills means that when the redstone signal's off, because there is no signal, so the signal's always off, it will always be sending out an energy pulse, so it will always be sucking items from the apiary up into this apiary's pipe. Apiary's pipe is like a diamond pipe, but for beekeeping. And for black, which goes to the apiary, we're going to say any bees go to black. So any bees that come up, the princess comes up, she's going to go down and go right back into the apiary and go here. Uh, when a drone comes up, I'm going to go down right back into the apiary and go here. Now these are best used with purebred, which means when you have drones that can stack. If you have a, a queen that's producing uh, two or three different types of drones, uh, your chest is going to fill up pretty fast, I'll tell you that now. Any comb or royal jelly that come up here, or extra bees, because this will reach 64, or any extra bees that come up here, uh, anything goes to green. So they will all go over here and into the chest. So now this will be fully automated for my Imperial drone. I'm still work Imperial bees. I'm still working on getting the industrious bees. It's being a royal pain in my ass because I'm having trouble getting uh, any diligent bees at all. Cultivated commons. These are my purebred commons. Uh, these stacks. So I'm going to set these up like that as well. Hey, you. Come back here. I need you, my love. Come to me. Thank you. Okay. And you notice when apiaries break, the uh, particles they have just happen to be uh, that of a TNT block. I thought that was kind of interesting. Interesting. Uh, wooden pipe. So I've been working on the beekeeping, and I have a goal. Um, I want to get a couple sets of industrious bees and a couple sets of imperial bees. And the reason for that is those two bees are primarily used in the making of an alveary, which is big port, big, big versions of these, and they're best for doing further mutations and whatnot of all bees in general. Um, any bees? Anything? Oh crap! I gotta go clear back around. Do 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 anything? Redstone off. Energy pulser. Frames, bees, purebred commons, purebred imperials, is that imperial? Yeah. The imperials make royal jelly which is used to make the alvearies. The industrious makes pollen which is used to make the alvearies. And these are my mutator ones, uh, trying to mutate and get more sets of common bees so that I can then start mixing with my are those pure also? I think they are. Start mixing. See, I've got a few commons, which is good. Uh, start mixing with cultivated bees to try and get diligent beans. 
Once I get diligent bees, I'm going to get a couple sets of them, which means a couple queens with a couple drones. That way I can use one set for mutating with diligent with uh, crap. Crap, I lost it. Oh, man. Diligent. Let's see. Common and cultivated. Make diligent. Diligent and common or diligent and cultivated make unweary. I've got a set of unweary. But I also need another type of bee to mix with. Oh, I need more. No, I need diligence to mix with the unwearies to try and make industrious bees. I think that's the way it goes. If not, you know, don't uh, don't chastise me, okay? I had it written down. I just don't have it in front of me. Okay. So that is where we are at right now. And all this other stuff, I'm just keep it going for the sake of having bees. Because at some point, at some point, I know I'm going to be melting the bees down into liquid BNA. So this is preparing for that to make sure I constantly have a nice supply of bees to melt down for BNA. And let's check back over here. Stringy comb. And that is the only set of unwearies I have, by the way. I don't have another unweary princess. Once I get... Well, actually, I have enough drones. Once I get a couple princesses of either diligent or unweary, then I'll start uh, mixing them trying to get what I need. So these two are now fully automated. Yay! Yay! Okay. Um, and that, that's generally it for today. It's going to be a short episode. I don't know how long I've been recording. Maybe 15 minutes. I don't know. But I just wanted to update you guys as to what's going to be going on with the channel. Why after this video you may not see another video for a month. You may see another video at the end of this week. I don't know yet. I plan... I had planned on doing a full video on the bees, but I just showed you most of it while talking about the update, so that's probably going to be a no-go, <laughs> unless you want some in-depth knowledge about some of this. Uh, if so, leave a comment, let me know. Isn't that pretty, all those particles? Yeah! Um, I need to go bee hunting again. I've got my own power source in here, I showed you guys that before. The biomass, and I reduced it, replaced it with redstone pipe down there, but... Oh yeah, these chests, I guess I'll show you all the chests because, you know, they weren't here before. These are all frames. I'm going to have soul frames in there for mutations. Uh, and those are impregnated frames, by the way. They're the best frames you can get other than proven frames. Proven frames you can only get from villagers trading. Uh, this is my stuff for making frames. All my scoops for getting beehives and whatnot. Some wood, dirt for expanding my area. Uh, I put in a flax farm for all the string. This is my flax farm. I got water going down the outer channel of the walls. So that's uh, where I'm getting all the string from. And of course, uh, here's these, but I gotta get some more seeds. Um, over here, these are all my mixed bees. These are all uh, purebred cultivated, cultivated hybrids. Here's other hybrids trying to get commons. Majestic uh, hybrids couple of valiants I have. A rocky ebony. I got that on an off chance. That was weird. Uh, and then I got pure majestics, which are on the imperial side of the mutation line from diligent. Here are my purebred bees. Rockies. Uh, cultivated. The good ones. Uh, commons. Uh, common hybrids here that are mostly co that are their main traits common. Um, cultivated unweary. Here's some unweary and diligent... Oh, I do have a diligent drone. I can mix that with a common queen right now, but or a cultivated, but I probably wouldn't get what I need. Uh, I'm going to wait until I get some more diligence. I don't want to waste my only pure diligent. Uh, unwearies. Marble, meadows, forest, nobles. Uh, some more imperial drones. Valiants. Those are all purebred. Here's the results of all the combs, which, by the way, let me get this started. Uh, 28, 26, 30, 23, and 26. And we'll put the royal jelly in here. But uh, this is the result of spinning out tons of comb. 
uh, sugar from the cocoa comb gives sugar and cocoa beans actually the comb doesn't get sugar but the bees give sugar and that's the uh, uh, valiance I think uh, the propolis comes from the stringy comb uh, the royal jelly comes from the imperial bees uh, I had so much wax I made a lot of it into capsules because I'll need that for seed oil over here I'll put seed oil into a wax capsule so it's completely self-sufficient there um, honey drops which you know go in the bee elizer honey dew which you can then centrifuge and get honey and propolis I think and of course beeswax so that's uh, all the products of this but that is and then in here I've got, still got all the original bees I had in here to begin with hey got a couple of queens so I get anything other? no nope and then this I just got a bunch of stuff and all my flax seeds and stuff like that so now we're probably sitting about 22 minutes or so I'm not sure I'm just throwing that number out there as a general guess uh, it'd be my luck it's gonna be over 20 minutes but that's gonna be it for today um, so yeah hopefully I will have a video up by the end of the week or over the weekend or so that would be nice and I'm trying to think of something to go over and I've run out of good stuff <laughs> and you know you guys didn't leave me a comment on anything you'd like to see me go over so I'll probably just play with Thomcraft or something I don't know we'll cross that bridge when it gets here but uh, that's it for today if you enjoyed the episode a like is appreciated a sub is awesome and I will see you guys in the next video take care